It's not that we didn't have warning. We used to sit in comfortable living rooms, talking about the end of the world. And then it got real. Oh, not all at once, not in some blast of radiance, but in bits and pieces. A war here and a war there, a flood in New Orleans, a drought in Africa, a storm in New York City that turned the skyline dark. But out of those ruins, in one place at least, we built something beautiful. We picked ourselves up and we said, we will not waste the little we have left in building weapons of war. We were hungry, so very hungry, but we swore to feed each other's children first with what food we had and to share what we had. And so the food we had became sacred to us and the water and the earth became sacred. No one in this city goes hungry. No child lacks a home. Our cisterns are full. Our streams run free. But now we are under attack. The army of the stewards marches up from the Southlands. And here we sit, beautiful, but unarmed as the Venus de Milo. I'm Maya Greenwood. I've spent my life fighting for this city, building it. But I'm old now, nearly a hundred years old, here at the midpoint of the 21st century. It's the fate of the old to do less and watch more, to backseat drive, as we used to say, when we still had cars. The burden of this one will fall on a new generation, like Madrone. The healer who could never quite do enough, never make it all better. And her love, Bird, my grandson, who went down to fight in the Southlands and who lost his music, his love, and his faith in their prisons. But I always knew he was still alive. And when he escapes and returns to warn us that the invaders are headed our way, then what? How do we fight them without an army of our own, without losing what we are? How do we become stronger healers than they are killers? I've done my part, you might say. Time to step off stage and retire. But I don't feel old. Inside, I'm still a 19-year-old street-fighting woman who knows that a vision can pack a wallop stronger than bullets. Tell your enemies this. There is a place set for you at our table if you will choose to join us. Remember this story. Remember. One act of courage can change the world.